weather is no reason to skip a creamy frozen favorite. Everyone seems to be happy when they're getting ice cream. It's just something that you can always cherish. Jared Palladino's childhood passion for ice cream led to a career hand mixing special flavors of the divine dessert. He opened Cal's Creamery in Reading in May of 2021. I made ice cream at a store before and I just wanted to go out on my own and do my own thing and try to perfect what I thought was great ice cream. We also try to come up with as much innovative and creative flavors that we can that you don't normally see everywhere else. Paladino says flavors of the holiday season sell fast. They include cinnamon spiced ginger snap molasses and a bold Kahlua brownie. The flavors can be transformed into celebratory concoctions. We have four different size cakes. You can pick two flavors of your choice. In the middle, you can either have fudge, Oreo, choice of candy, caramel. All our cakes are whipped cream frosted, which we make in-house and decorated with fudge flowers. Paladino also offers a twist on a classic holiday candy, peppermint bark ice cream, a combination of cream, white chocolate, peppermint bark, and peppermint pieces. You can pour the white chocolate right in. Mmm. Yum. A little bit warm. You can press start. Ah, okay. The ice cream mixes in a freezing chamber until it becomes a soft serve consistency. Paladino then mixes in all the extras by hand with a little help on this day. We're going to take one scoop of the peppermint, pour that in. It smells so good. And now... The elbow grease. It's made with love. So it's all hand mixed? Every flavor we have. And then it goes into kind of a deep freezer? Yes, it goes into 35 below where it freezes for 12 hours. And then we move it into our holding freezer, which is about nine above. While the flavor stands out on its own, the team at Cal's tops it with hot fudge, homemade whipped cream, and crushed candy canes for a festive ice cream sundae. Oh my goodness, thank you. I mean, this is my lucky day. It is delicious. Like ice cream, cheesecake is a rich indulgence. They both require precision in crafting. A cheesecake, kind of like ice cream, is very, very technical. So there's a lot of cheesecake out there, there's a lot of ice cream out there. But to make it good, you really have to know the technical side of it. You really have to know how to work with your ingredients properly, um, exactly what roles they're playing, how to manipulate temperatures, so that that end product comes out exactly the way you want it. Sarah Chester, owner of 789 Bakery in Somerville, says it took her three years to perfect her signature cheesecake recipe. I believe when you experience food, you experience it with all five senses. A lot of that happens during the baking process. So I can just have a batter in the mixer and by listening to it, I know whether it's ready, whether it's undermixed, whether it's overmixed, just by the sound. The self-taught baker says cheesecake is a great cold weather dessert. New England winters help bakers control the creamy creations. It's not the lightest thing you've ever had. Um, and so it's really comforting for those winter months when it's cold outside. Chester takes a somewhat minimalist approach to her cheesecakes. I think that all of the ingredients that go into food should be able to speak for themselves. They have a role to play. So when you start throwing on top of a cheesecake or even mixing into a cheesecake 800 different ingredients um, to the point where you're not even tasting cheesecake anymore or you're drowning it in a sauce or you're drowning it in a syrup it's like it, that's that's not really the experience of food that's not how it's meant to be but chester says cheesecake lends itself to traditional winter flavors we have a peppermint mocha cheesecake that's coming out uh, where we brew fresh espresso, pour it directly into the batter right before it goes in the oven. It's a gingerbread ganache, so we have our own blend of different spices that we use for our gingerbread, um, and we actually work that into a chocolate ganache made with Valrona chocolate. One of her favorites is a seasonal coquito cheesecake made in honor of the traditional Puerto Rican holiday drink. It's a little bit similar to an eggnog, but far better. It's made with Don Q rum and cinnamon, lots of spices, and a Maria cookie. From a traditional plain cheesecake to flavors of the season, Chester says deep care goes into every slice at 789. You have to let all of the ingredients speak for itself. So even things like 
our chocolate ganache. On its own, it's gonna be a very different experience than having it on top of the cheesecake, so that when it's all together, it balances each other. Orange cranberry, another seasonal mm. flavor at 789. By the way, all the mini cheesecakes come in all the same flavors as the big ones. They may look small, but Erica says, they're filling. They look so good. And back to Cal's Creamery. It's actually named after Caloresso's. It was a farm stand that occupied the space prior to Cal's moving in. And Caloresso's actually moved down the street to a larger location. All right, up next, three words, caramel apple pie.